Hello, welcome to my channel. This video is part of the Basic Guitar Chords Tutorial BGCT for short. If you have not watched the Basic Guitar Tutorial BGT, I would advise you to watch that first before this because that Basic Guitar Tutorial actually provides you with a foundation for guitar. So this video is the first video of two videos for this week, week 4. So in this video, you'll learn the D minor chord and E minor chords. Let's begin with the D minor chord. Now you probably have heard of the D minor chord because we have touched it briefly in the previous week's song, Counting Stars. So now let's learn it officially. To hold the D minor chord, our left hand needs to hold this position. First fret, first string F. Third fret, second string D. Second fret, third string A. Now let's move to our right hand so we can either pluck strum or do freestyle. So to pluck, place your hand in the arc shape. So I've explained this slightly more in week one. So be sure to check that video out. So when you play the piece, make sure your hand actually remains in this position. So when you pluck, you actually have to pluck like that. And not that your whole hand must move but more of your wrist movement. For this chord, we will pluck the first, second, third and fourth string. So we'll put A on the first string, M on the second string, I on the third string and we'll put P on the fourth string. So we can either pluck all notes together or we can pluck the bass note first and then the other notes. When we strum, we can strum from 4th string onwards. We can also do an arpeggio by alternating our fingers on the right hand. For example, E, I, M, A. Or we can do P, I, M. We can do P A M I M A. So, like I mentioned in all my previous videos, there are many variations as to how you can do this. So now let's try the E minor chord. So to hold the E minor chord, our left hand needs to hold this position. 2nd fret, 4th string E. 2nd fret, 5th string B. So moving to our right hand, we can either pluck, strum or do finger star. So when we pluck E minor chord, we actually will need to pluck 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 6th string. So meaning you put your A on 1st string, M on 2nd string, I on 3rd string and P on 6th string. But do you realize that we touch 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 6th string, but our fingers are on 4th and 5th string? Yes, that's right. I'm not kidding with you. But when plucking the E minor chord, actually all the notes that we are playing on our right hand, they're all open strings. So technically, when you're plucking, you can lift up your fingers. You don't need your fingers to be there. So you can pluck all notes together like this. Or we can pluck the bass first, then the other notes. But when we are strumming, we have to put back our fingers on the 4th and 5th string. So we strum from 6th string onwards. Then when we do arpeggio by alternating our fingers on right hand, we can lift up our E minor chord. So we can do P, I, M, A. We can also do P I M A M I. Or we can also do P A M I M A.
So as mentioned, there are many variations also. So please feel free to pause the video and rewatch whichever part you need. That's all I have for this video. Head over to next video, week 4-2, to learn how to play Count on Me by Bruno Mars using the chords C, E minor, A minor, G, F, and D minor chords. Hope you found this tutorial video is useful. Alternatively, you may head over to Fiverr or Carousel to sign up for one-to-one -one online lessons with me. Links to Fiverr and Carousel are found in the description box below. Lastly, if you found this tutorial video is useful, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button before you go. See you in next video.